Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's the Marmoset here. We're back playing City Skylines. We're in Animalia. We've got a reasonable amount of cash. Um, we've got a little bit of demand for residential. Um, what I will be doing is we've got a reasonable start on our donkey mines over here, and we're making some good work, but we're struggling an awful lot of prop with getting enough workers in, not enough workers, lots of abandoned buildings, um, because we simply don't have enough workers. In fact, this one apparently, yeah, this one outright burned, burned down. So, Let's uh, just do a quick double check on our fire services. There's a fire station there, there, and down there. I think generally our fire coverage is going to be good enough that I'm not going to be massively worried about that building that we have that we had a burnt down building there. But the fact we've got a few, what is it? About? What are you complaining about? Yeah, so slightly abandoned stuff. So there's a few places here and there, so abandoned buildings. Not enough educated workers. So the problem is that apparently we're not getting enough people who are well educated, which means we have a problem with our high schools. So if we hit the education tab, we can see we have plenty of elementary high school capacity and vast amounts of high school capacity. We've got two high schools, um, and they're about half full. So it's simply going to be a case of just time. So what we're probably going to have to be looking at doing is putting in some more uh, industry um, that's of the lower rank that just requires educated or uneducated workers. So you kind of get our demand for residential, you get a bit more cash flowing through our city. So we don't necessarily have a fair bit of space on this side, but we should be able to quite easily add another row in over here. Now I believe that's a one row road, so let's start off by grabbing a one row road. I mean, south, a tick, coming across to about there, and going up and joining Grant. Okay, so that should give us a little bit more industry to help with that. Uh, let's just double check our bus routes. So, uh, bus route, bus route navigator. So let's just drag that line down to there. Okay, fine. The other thing I've been having a look at is the taxi stands. Now, taxi stands are used by um, tourists for getting around, and that kind of implies, do we actually have any tourists? So policies, economy, budget. Right, taxes, taxes, budget. Yeah, okay, so income from tourists is quite low. Um, there are, I don't think... Let's grab one of our red buses. Doesn't help me very much. Let's see, leisure, parks and plazas, districts, cash flow, land value, population, crime. Yeah, I don't, there's an immediate thing that tells me whether or not we have actually much in the way of tourism coming through. Population, happiness. Me. Let's just quit the the budget. Yeah, so getting a fair chunk in from our specializations over there. But overall, I don't think we're generating enough tourism immediately to it be worth our while sticking in a taxi rank right now. We don't have any tourist attractions, we don't have any a leisure district yet that would make having that kind of thing worthwhile. So what I am in that case going to do is concentrate on beefing up um, what we've got, really, and increasing our capability. Now, Donkey Mines is a district over here, so that extends pretty much about there-ish or so. So I am just going to trim it back a little bit so that the industrial that's in our little district over here doesn't quite feel the pinch of being in that area. So let's uh, get a slightly smaller, smaller brush, please. Let's just trim that up a little bit. That okay, grand. So the donkey mines is basically going to be this enormous area. Why? Because that's where we have our ore. It's going to be forestry later on. So that's a little bit of industry in there. Which are our districts? No, it doesn't extend that side of the road. I don't really want to go that far. So we've got our bee shopping going down here. We've got the donkey mines districts there. I am tempted to think about putting a new industrial area in over here. 
not a particularly large one, but let's see what kind of if we get any growth when we speed the time up. If we get much in the way of growth. Yes, I know a building burned down. So we can hear dingings, that's always a good noise. Please start grading. Flat out looks ladies and gentlemen that we don't have any demand for that, so that means we need to be looking at having some more residential now. Miss, I know a building burnt down. I'll um, fine. I will go and demolish it. And make sure happy. There we go, demolished. So what we need to be thinking about is okay. Well, what do we need at residential? We need to increase the demand. Now we've got quite a bit of residential is still filling in and arriving over here. So yeah, looks like we just need to kind of sit and wait for a little bit. Run the speed up. Just try and fill in and flood out. Now we are. So next up we're a small city where we get train stations, the rest of it, start plugging in a few bits and pieces. Um, yes, I have all the new shiny buildings, I have a load of extra bits and pieces, but ultimately I just don't have the demand. Where's the red route? That's line, line colour, okay, so let me grab the bus station to have the red route is that one. It's apparently quite a busy one. Not immediately fussed, everything is just neatly flowing around and all filling in. So I'm happy with our bus solution. What are we doing with our health care? There we go, health. Plenty of there. Plenty of capacity in that. Garbage, landfill use 78%, not an immediate concern. Oh, a new building's actually gone in. Yes, I know, got more shiny new buildings. They are actually starting to fill out a little bit. And that's rapidly filling up. Okay, I think it's perhaps time we looked at investing in a new area. We're standing this way and putting ourselves up a new residential area. The thing I am slightly concerned about is traffic. Yeah, let's do. Let's uh, let the time run on a bit, and let's do some traffic surveying. Traffic, traffic, transport, traffic. Where are we busiest? Where is it locked up? Where are we having problems? All right. Well, that's going to be a bit of a bottleneck because so many of our bus routes run back and forth across this bit. But I'm not. It's not tailbacking too much, though on the coming in it is quite a bit. That junction's working fine. And this isn't the greatest it could possibly be. Okay. So let's have a look at dealing with this little bit of traffic first. Um, which is not the speed down to one while we were. Um, what's this building? That's a medical clinic. I can remove that. Get over there. What's this? It's a fire station. We can move that. Get over there. For now. Yes, unhappy is unhappy. So that junction is essentially because it's a three-way junction. I've got a lot of traffic coming in this way, and then it's coming round and it's looping. So people trying to get across that way into the district. Whereas I think I don't necessarily. So they're not, they can't turn right, so they're not crossing there. So it isn't because these guys want to get into the district. Hmm. I am thinking about whether or not it might be worthwhile having all of these going through one way and then coming out the other. But I'm getting the impression there's an awful lot of trucks coming around and going other places inside here. So it's the fact that the entranceway also happens to be the exchange point between the system. I don't know if upgrading this road will actually help that much. No, I'm going to move these two guys back. Um, but definitely, I think when it comes to time to looking at expanding this district, we're going to have to look at rereading some of these roads. I think possibly demolishing the entire area and rereading the roads. I don't think the roads here are going to be sustainable. Though maybe when we get the rail yard in, we'll look at rebuilding it a bit. But I think perhaps looking at maybe putting a a heavier road down the center is probably going to look like a better idea. Okay, so the other point of traffic concern we had was this on the way in. So there's a big gap between 
the the uh, sections here, but we are getting a lot of traffic. It's mostly buses, so I'm not immediately concerned. Um, and the buses are moving, going back and forth and the rest of it. I think it's probably because we've only got one lane here, so I think it might be worthwhile. Much as that little bit of bus route stretch along here is helpful, I don't necessarily think that we need it all the way along here. So let's click the upgrade tool. And upgrade. I'm going to leave that section because it's really useful for these bits. But. Okay, so I can upgrade that section. And there we do so. Space already occupied. It's a pharmacy. Police station. Okay. Well, I can just move you onto the other side of the road and upgrade that section of road and then we need to repaint a little bit in our commercial colours. Excuse me, I'm thinking about sneezing. Nope, nope, looks like we're good. And then just paint, 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 click, 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 click. Click, click, click. Okay, so. Much larger interchange. Yeah, and that's done what I expected it to. So now there's more space for the traffic to get out of here. It's not backing up nearly so much because the problem was that it was wanting to go to these locations and these locations were all a bit full. So. That has done what I expected it to do, and cleared out a little bit more space. So not a lot going on in this episode today, ladies and gentlemen. We are mostly just ticking around, because I want to build up a nice supply of cash, and make sure everything is properly filled in, which indeed it is. Um, also try and reduce the number of unemployed workers we've got. Yep, I know it's an abandoned building. It's lowering my prices. Unfortunately, with these guys, I don't mind so much. So yeah, there's simply not that much demand. Increasing demand for commercial, but I think I might want to really rocket that up a bit more before I start building a bit more. So, I think the solution is going to be a large amount of new residential area, and essentially it's going to be extending in and just filling in this area here with a new residential area. So, I need to think about what I'm doing. Now, we've done dimension sites, we've done circles. Now, I'm thinking what we could do is some kind of squid based shape. So, Let's um, drop back in down over here and upgrade that section of road and just switch to this and then just come down. Well, I am tempted to just bring it all the way down to here because we know that this trunk road is going to extend eventually all the way down here. So the thought is, okay, why not bring it all the way down to here? Well, go with this where you need to. Let's, uh, let's uh, cancel that and bring it out. I need to think about what a squid looks like. Let's, uh, just finishing up doing a bit more tidying up this episode, trying to work out what we're doing. I know what we can do. I've got an awful lot of roads in this area. Two lanes of road, one lane line. Let's, uh, what else have we got down here? Ah, uh, that commercial track. Let's grab that. Let's grab the upgrade tool. And let's just start making all of these roads of a higher grade. So this is actually going to cost me an amount of money in upkeep. But I should rapidly make... What is that symbol? What is that symbol? These houses being demolished by me doing this? Yes, some of them are. So, obviously but in terms of the shaping of how these roads are going in, it's deciding that some of these roads changed enough that it's going to actually demolish the house, which is unfortunate. So we're going to have a bit of a weird 
random housing crisis after doing all these upgrades and these clickings. But what I'm thinking about for the next area is I want to do something squiddy shaped. Um, why squid? I just know I've got squid on the brain right now. Which means I'm thinking about doing a central kind of like body. So a pair of large kind of arcs. Well, so I've got a central body in here and then lots of tentacles coming off it. So where is the squid? Some kind of like starfish or jellyfish kind of object. So I want a central area and then lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of tendrils coming off it. So this will come down to a certain point and then come across into kind of a, maybe a, a slight oval or quite a narrow oval. And then from there, I will have lots and lots of tendrils coming off the side of it. So this is going to improve greatly the value of all of our roads in this area. So it will make Dimension Heights a significantly nicer place to live. We should increase, hopefully, all of our land values. Now, has this changed it to a two-way or not? So I'm pretty sure, yes it has, So what I wanted was a one-way. Like that. I didn't want too much traffic. I don't really care about that one being a two-way, but I didn't want traffic trying to, coming in from this direction. Is that going to cause too many problems for me? Single, yep, yep, yep. That's already been done. These were put in place at this level. Ready? That's interesting. I'm just going to pause it quick there and grab my bus button. It's the green line. Oh, it's the long haul one and the blue one. They both seem to... Actually, it's better to stop split them up like that, because then you don't get the buses jamming up against each other. It's the great thing about having the huge great big bus station down here, is that they don't get in each other's way nearly as much. Which is really useful. So, the traffic problem is piling up, but then it clears. Yeah, it does clear. It is clearing a fair bit, so I'm not immediately concerned. The other option I've got is that we could potentially put a bus lane in here to get buses out of that line. Though it's mostly commercial trucks or trucks heading for the commercial district from our industrial district. Ah, okay. So that solves that one. We've got a full one of these. So I know what's going in right now. We're going to be spending our money on a new one of these. Um, not the greatest in terms of what we want for our city growth. But yes, hopefully we should be seeing lots of upgrading and rebuilding going on down here. Got a nice watch of cash. Yes, people are starting to complain that their bin are being empty. So, I'll have to deal with that later. Another empty building over there. Nice big park. I like a nice park. It's a reason there, right? But yeah, we've got an awful lot of... Oh, it's raining again. It's an awful lot of cars. An awful lot of the object the vehicles in here are commercial trucks trying to get into our commercial centre. So what I think would be useful to do at this point would be to put in a road... this linking them up and I will fill that in with commercial hopefully that should encourage our trucks to stay off this bit of road and start using this bit of road now it's night time so all the delivery patterns in the road should stay change so I have to wait on that but in the interim, we've got quite a large sum of money. Um, I'm pretty happy with this, so I am going to call it for this episode. Thank you very much for tolerating me, mostly just moving things around, having a poke, occasionally looking at bits and pieces here and there. Um, 
But uh, hopefully in the next episode, now we've got a few of our little transport bugs on, and while we've been doing this, we've got a nice wad of cash, we should come up with something nice and interesting we're doing in the next episode, which will mostly involve some kind of tentacly squiddy, jellyfishy kind of area down in this space. And briefly illuminated by that lightning strike. There you go, and there's the thunder. Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I've been the Marmoset, and this has been City Skylines. Please remember to like and subscribe.